Chess Pride, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'm doing the slideshow for my Sims 4 The Rainbow Legacy Challenge Red Generation, which is the first generation. But if this is coming out, that means that the last episode of The Red Generation finally aired. Uh, it should be the last video that came out, hopefully recently. Um, I try to put these videos pretty close together. I forgot to mention at the last the end of the last video that I was playing on a slideshow, but if you've been around my channel a while, you may know that I just love to do slideshows at the end of my longer series, Ten, t normally at the end of every generation of a series. So, that is what we're doing today. If you never watched one of my I slideshows, basically, like we are obviously playing through a bunch of screen captures that I got throughout the series and I'm just gonna basically just kind of summarize the series go over what happened go over the requirements uh and even go through the title of the videos and just kind of talk about uh, what happened in the, each episode so that's what we're gonna do today so let's start out so uh, basically the rainbow legacy challenge is kind of like the not so berry challenge but in like rainbow order and with different requirements so the first generation is also red, so we had our heir Ruby, who was the matriarch of this challenge. Um, her traits had to be active, romantic, and hot-headed, which she was all of those. Her aspiration had to be bodybuilder, so she had to complete that aspiration. She had to complete the athlete career, bodybuild, or, uh, <laughs> department, I don't know what it's called. Uh, she had to max the fitness skill. She had to get to level 8 of the charisma skill. She had to get to level 4 of the singing career. Or, uh, singing skill, not career, my bad. Uh, she had to have at least two children by two different people, which I'll get into that in a minute. And she had to get married twice the second time as an adult. And she completed all of those requirements. Alright, so basically, storyline, let me fill you in. So basically... Ruby started out as, you know, being in a very athletic, um, being kind of into singing, kind of being into the party club, um, and she had a fitness club, and she ended up hooking up with one of the club members and getting pregnant, and they decided to just be friends, you know, he, he stuck around and was a dad to the first baby, but they never got together, and then she met Philip and Philip and her, you know, they kind of fell in love and they got married and they had the kid, which is the heir to the orange gym, Blaze. Um, but they ended up both kind of being flirtatious with other people, and you know, Ruby kind of started questioning her sexuality, and she ended up coming out when she was drunk at a party and kissing her best friend. And, uh, you know, that was kind of the end for her and Philip. And then her and her best friend, Alina, ended up getting together, getting married. But right before we were about to ask her to be our girlfriend, I believe, or, uh, yeah, I, she, either right before we were about to post her, right, but I think it was right before we were about to be her girlfriend, we actually invited her over to ask her to be our girlfriend, and she popped up in her third trimester pregnant. So we had a long talk with her and we ended up trying to make it work out and we ended up coming out with a stepdaughter. So we had our, our oldest son, Phoenix. We had Blaze, the heir to the orange heir. And then we also have the little old stepsister, or, uh, Ember. So, oh, that was all the kids and then uh, after she had her kid, they end up getting engaged and getting married, and that, and then they both got higher up in their career, and the kids, uh, they're both, the, both the boys are teenagers now, and Ember is a child. So, that kind of sums up what actually happened in this generation, and the storyline, if you did miss it, if and if you're interested in watching that, feel free to go back and watch that. But now we're going to go through all the episodes 
on the playlist, just go through and read all the titles and then kind of talk about what happened. So there are 29 videos in this playlist. The first one is actually an introduction video, so it goes over all the rules and what this this challenge is and the characters and the, the starter home. So that's where, that's where all that information is. Then we go on to the gameplay episodes. So number one of the red generation is just called the beginning. So we just got our basics and we started our career. You know, we, we started our, our club. We met people and whatnot. And then episode number two was called promoted to mascot. So we got our first promotion um, in the athlete career. That's what that episode's about. And then number three is Beach Hookup, and that's when her and Marco, uh, which was the guy from the club, hooked up and got pregnant with her first son, Phoenix. Um, and then ne- the next episode, episode four, was called Finding Out We Were Pregnant, so that's when we found out we were pregnant with Phoenix. Um, and then number five, the first baby is born, so that's when Phoenix was born, obviously. Um, I, I believe they went to the hospital for that one, and then the rest of the birth, or Blaze's was a home birth. So, oh, that one they went to the hospital for, though. Um, number six was called Becoming a Family, and that's really when her and Philip ended up getting together. You know, they kind of bonded over, uh, Phoenix a little bit. It, it was cute. It was a cute moment. Or a cute episode, really. And then the next episode, episode 7, was called Proposing and the Cuddle Cart Who. So we actually went to Copperdale, which is before we moved to Copperdale. We actually ended up moving to Copperdale when uh, Phoenix gets into a teenage years. But basically, um, we went there and we went to the not festival, but I forget, carnival area, the carnival area, and we ended up going out by the water and proposing in front of all the pretty lights, you know, all that, so that was nice, and then, of course, woohoo did a call cart, <laughs> and then episode eight was called Wedding Prep and Aging into a Toddler, so uh, they had a nice big wedding, so they had to get uh, some of that out of the way, so they had to ask all their friends and stuff. They ended up going to, like, the gym and asking all their their gym friends. Because I was, like, basically all the friends she had was her gym friends. <laughs> and then, uh, j- uh, episode 9 of Red Gin was called The Red Wedding and Honeymoon. So we had a nice red and black beach wedding. And then, and they had a island honeymoon. And just basically had fun. And I believe got pregnant with Blaze on the honeymoon. And the episode 10 is called Promotion and Pregnant Workout. So obviously she's pregnant um, through this episode and she was getting work promotions and we're basically just working on the goals in this episode. Episode 11 is called Halloween Home Birth to the Next Heir. So this is when Blaze is born. So this is probably the most important episode. And it just happened to be on Halloween. The Orange Heir... And no, I did not purposely plan that. The orange air just happened to be born on the day that we had set for Halloween in the game. Which I thought was perfect because he is our Halloween child now. Which kind of fits the the whole like paranoid loner thing that the orange gin has going on. So I, I, I don't know. It was just perfect. This this ep- this generation also had a lot of stuff that happened on holidays. Like, we had, like, two of our kids age up on Winterfest, like, uh, Lo- Love Day <laughs> we ended up being a big event. It was, it's a lot. It was a lot. Okay. But then the next episode is episode 12, and it's called Beach Birthday Basketball. So, we had a little basketball party for er, a phoenix aging up into a child, our oldest child, and then 13 was called Caught in the At. And that is when she got drunk and came out and kissed her best friend right in front of her husband. And yeah, that was kind of the 
well, it, it wasn't quite the end. They went on a little longer, but they kept fighting. And that is what brings us to the next episode, episode 14, A Secret Date and the Divorce. So, <laughs> yeah, so Lena, uh, after, you know, they kissed and stuff, asked her out on a date. And after she got back from the date, she came... She came back and her husband had just got promoted in work. He was promoted to a chef and she straight up divorced him. She, he came home to tell her she, he got the promotion and she was like, nope, sorry, bye, I'm lesbian. And <laughs> kicked him out. So she was kind of a bitch there. I'm not going to lie. She was kind of a bitch there. But it was good drama. It was good drama. It made for a good episode. Okay, but episode 15 was called Mother and Son, Son Bonding Time. So this episode really focused on her being a single mother and just playing with her son Blaze and keeping care of her son Phoenix. You know, she just she just was basically a single mother for a little bit before she fully asked Lena. She was grieving her, her, her marriage a little bit, so we waited. But that, and then we had to, the next episode was pizza birthday party. So this is when Blaze, our orange heir, aged into a child, and the pizza uh, maker had just come out. So I, of course, I threw him a pizza party, and he was aging into a child, and our other kid was a child. So I thought it was only fitting. <laughs> and um, and then the next episode was called the festival of youth. So that's when we took Blaze to the Festival of Youth and he did his Void Critter hunt. And that's really when he became super obsessed with Void Critters. Like, like, and that was kind of his thing as a child was Void Critters. Specifically the Fire Void Critters. So that was when his obsession really began. And then the next episode, episode 18, was when the drama all unfolded. With Lena be- popping up pregnant, so we we grieved our our relationship a couple episodes, and you know focused on our son really like him aging up, and we celebrating that. And then in this episode, sh- uh, a <laughs> girlfriend shows up pregnant on our birthday. So Lena, like I said, we we were gonna ask her out on our birthday. She we invited her over for her birthday, and she showed up three or in her third trimester pregnant. So like I said, we we talked to her and we worried things out. We decided, I you know that what happened with her getting pregnant was just a fling. She didn't really feel romantic towards him, which was Frank from MCR, by the way. Just saying, lucky you. Um, but anyways, is uh, so we moved her in. We asked her out to be our girlfriend, and we moved her in, and then she had her baby, which of course was our little Ember. And then the next episode was called Nightmare Before Winterfest. And basically, um, this was our last night. In our house, our first house, and we had a Halloween themed Christmas <laughs> because it wasn't quite Christmas in real life yet. It was still kind of Halloween time. I I didn't want to celebrate Christmas without including Halloween, and it was also when we aged up Ember into an infant, and I believe um, we aged up. Phoenix into a teenager if I'm remembering correctly when we did that. So that was our Nightmare Before Winterfest because I kind of went with like a Nightmare Before Christmas type theme. So that's where that came from. And then the next episode is called New Year, New Everything. So basically we went out for New Year's Eve night and you know romance it up and whatnot. But this is also when we moved into our new house and Mom, uh, um, mom had just got a makeover in the episode beforehand, so it was just a lot of new stuff. And then the next episode is episode twenty one, and enga- oh yeah, we got we got engaged on New Year's Eve. So 
that happened. I'm pretty sure that's when we got engaged, engaged to Lena. And the next episode is called Engagement Dinner Party. So, of course, we announced to our friends that we got pregnant. We had a nice little dinner party at our new house. And we asked people to be in our wedding. And, yeah, so that's what that episode was about. And then episode 22 was called I Cannot Believe We Have a Toddler Again. Because I really thought after we had Blaze, we were done with kids for the, for the generation. But, uh, no, no, that was not the case. Um, our girlfriend slash, at this point, fiance just had to have another baby. And we just had to have another toddler. <laughs> so, that episode was all about dealing with toddlers. And then the episode 23 was another big episode. It was called Orange Air Ages into a Teen. So basically, we had a huge boy career battle party where he invited over his club members. Well, not invited over, but invited out his club members to a fire boy critter arena, which has favorite boy critter all over it. And he basically battled it out with them and then aged up. So, that was kind of his birthday party and his birthday moment aging into a teen. As you can tell, these generations kind of intertwine. So, it's not just, like, you start out with the red just mainly focusing on the red, but then slowly you're, like, doing stuff for the orange gen and and aging up orange gen characters and stuff like that. So, it kind of, like, blends together, kind of like a spectrum Almost like a colored spectrum. So I kind of love how that kind of works out in this series. But next episode we are going focusing back on our red sim. And it's called The Second Red Wedding. So when I read off the uh, requirements earlier, one of them was you have to get married twice the second time as an adult. So we had to wait for her to age up into an adult. And then of course we had to like get engaged and... Uh, age of our son and stuff and then we finally got married and we did it in a, on the little island in Tartosa and I, I built a wedding venue with like the gar- romantic garden stuff pack actually right before it went on sale I kind of missed the opportunity because I was like oh this is gonna be a small build I don't need to like record myself doing it and then like Right after I put out the wedding episode, the the romantic garden stuff went on sale. I was like, ah, I should have made a build. But it was, oh well, it was a missed opportunity. But it was still a really pretty wedding. And then the next episode is probably my favorite episode. And it's called, episode 25, it's called Jungle Adventure Honeymoon. So, you know, oh, we went on exactly what it said, a Jungle Adventure Honeymoon. And we actually... Went into the temple and earned, like, almost, like, 15 grand. Which was, or, no, I'm, yeah, yeah, 15 grand. Uh, which was amazing after we sold everything and whatnot. So, I was pretty happy with that. Probably my favorite episode because there was a lot to, I mean, there was a lot of woohooing too. And, of course, just honeymoon stuff. But the adventure was really fun. I hadn't been on a jungle adventure in quite a few years, so I was happy to do that. And then episode 26 was called Birthday Pool Party. So the the pool parties had just come out recently. So when we aged up our daughter Ember from a toddler to a child, we had a pool party, which aged her up, but we didn't have like a birthday party. We had a pool party because I wanted to try that out. And then episode 27, of course, is called High School Days. And we really focused on Blaze because I I felt bad. We kind of missed his first day at high school and whatnot. So I was like, okay, let me focus on him a little bit. So we did a full two days of high school with him and his brother Phoenix. And then the last episode was called Love Day Season Finale, which is the episode that just came out before this one. And basically, a Ruby finally gets the last requirement of the Red Gym, which was to finish the athlete career, get to level 10 of the athlete career, and it just happened to fall on Love Day. So, we got promoted on Love Day, and we went on a date, which kind of turned out horrible, but it was fine, 
And then we, next day was prom and the romance festival. So that is how we ended the episode uh, of the season. We actually ended up renewing their vows at the the love day. A or I'm sorry, the romance festival. So it was cute. It was a cute ending. Um, but that is the list of uh episodes, and that we are coming to the last minute of this video um if you watch this series um i really appreciate you sticking with it i know it took me like six months to get all these episodes out but i had a lot of fun doing it and, and yes like i may be biased because i t technically made up this challenge but i i don't know i had a lot of fun doing it and i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you haven't watched it yet and this interested you, feel free to go watch it. I know I gave some spoilers. I should have gave, like, a spoiler alert, but, oh well. <laughs> but it is a review. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this one here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that awesome stuff because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right.